Hi, uh, this is Carlin Ma. Welcome to back to the series on my learning different pieces of 3D software. Today I'm doing Blender. Well, today and multiple multiple hours uh, before. Blender is a really hard interface to get to learn. Your other option, though, is like a three thousand dollar piece of software. And what I mean by that is, you can see at the bottom there's a timeline immediately. Blender's real strength is that it's a 3D animation tool that you can use for animation, for doing um, models for video games, stuff like that. If you want to make little characters to print out on your Maker Bot that you know you want to animate, it, you should learn Blender. Um, if you just want to make objects, uh, well, call will be up to you. I will put as many links as possible in the blog post to sort of help you on your way. I'm going to show you the way I figured out to make the yogurt cup. Um, and here we go. This is the beginning. <laughs> um, this is, a, again, not the first time I've recorded this. Uh, because one of the things that happens for me, because I'm not super familiar with the interface, I feel like sometimes Blender behaves one way, sometimes doesn't, because I don't know the sort of like magic keyboard voodoo that happens. Um, um, yeah, anyway. So I'm going to delete this uh, box. You'll know immediately now that Blender does things the Blender way. Excuse me, I'm actually not in Blender by hitting X instead of just the delete key and it goes away. Oops, I'm actually going to do file new. I hate it when that point moves and there's a way to get it back but I'm just going to um, snap it back to the origin and I'm just going to go ahead and, and load a new file since it's so early on uh, and delete delete things and now I'm going to add a mesh. If you don't see add up here, it's possibly because you're not in the right set of menus. You can add mesh, circle, and it will happily snap it right at the origin point. If for whatever reason it didn't snap it to the origin point or you'd click somewhere else and, and you haven't put it back, you can recover. If you press the N key, you'll get uh, a bunch of view properties and one of the set of them is uh, transform up here so you can see what you're doing. If you want to be able to remember where that shortcut is you actually have to go to 3D view, do view, view properties and so um, oh back to the info view now you can notice uh, here that my dimensions say two. Two what? Well, Blender is uh, like 3D10, a unitless software. Um, if you're going to, I looked into switching units. Since I use metric anyway, it seemed like just staying with the Blender units, uh, it's fine because there it's the same system where you have like 100 divided by 100 divided by 100 for your different, different level of units. Uh, if you want to switch it to metric or imperial, I will put a link in the blog post to a good tutorial on how to do that. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and say that 2 here means 2 centimeters. If it's 2 is a meter, my model will end up too big uh, for this space, and if I do 2 as millimeters, uh, it will end up way too small for this space. Part of the that is because Blender is sort of designed to make scenes where things happen in sort of a big space, I think, and uh, so you, so making it be two millimeters would be, uh, or going and making this be, well anyway, scale. Two is two centimeters, let's go. Uh, this is 0.6 now for six millimeters, and that's 0.6, and I can go ahead and zoom in with the scroll wheel of my three button mouse. You have to use a three button mouse. Uh, if you don't have a scroll wheel three button mouse, zoom is actually holding down the control the control key and the middle mouse and then moving your mouse around. So the next thing I need to do is actually zoom out a little and switch into edit mode. I'm going to do that. There's a hitbox right here, but I'm going to do that by hitting the tab key. I hit the tab key. There you go. And now I'm going to hit the E key for extrude and then S for scale. And you'll see that I can pull it out 
here, what I'm actually going to do is type the number 9.16666666. I don't really know where that number goes. I tried uh, figuring it out at one point, and I don't really know where that number goes to in Blender, but since it's scaling, it's a ratio, and I want my circle to be almost 10 times bigger than it is because I needed it to be 55 millimeters is 9 times 6, 9.1666 times 6 uh, is 55. So that's how I got my 55 millimeter base. Now, the next thing I want to do is select everything. And I hit the A key twice. A, A, the first time to deselect what I had to select everything, and the second time to select everything. And then I'm going to hit the E key again and bring it up. Now, I'm going to go ahead over here and just type 0.3 because I know I want the depth to be 0.3 millimeters. Hit the A key again. Oops. Hit the A key again. And then hit shift alt right button click and then scale oops sorry excuse me extrude scale and bring in bring in the circle a little bit and the little bit actually is only about five percent so i'm going to go ahead and type 0.956 to get an approximately approximate uh, good thickness for my walls. Again, an expert Blender user would absolutely know a better way to do all of this. Um, I'm just sort of doing it the way I figured it out. The next thing I'm going to do is Shift Alt right click. That will get me. Oops. That will get me this. I feel like. This is one of those examples where sometimes I figure out how to make it select everything and sometimes I have to do it all by hand. Oops, that's not right. Let's go back and deselect everybody and do uh, Alt right click, Alt Shift Alt right click, and I'll get the vertices all the way around. I guess I didn't say I had clicked the center mouse in order to do that orbiting, that whooshing around. So I'm going to click the center mouse key again and flip it up and hit E again for extrude and bring those walls on up. Now I'm going to go ahead and over here and bring the height of the whole object up to 5.5, which is 55 millimeters. Hole on the bottom. It's actually really a hole. And scale out. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down and the middle mouse so I can pan down a little bit. I'm going to hit A again to deselect everything and then shift alt right button mouse to select the outside circle. And then I'm going to hit E and S to bring this out again. And if I'm not mistaken, I want this to be Excuse me, let me look up my little calculation here. 1.647 times bigger <laughs> than it was a second ago. Um, it's a little large, actually. Well, we'll go with it for now. And you can see I've got the lip that my little, my little cup will hang on the edge of the yogurt container with. All right, and now, I'm going to do shift alt right click again and get that center and then do it again for all the little middle panels. Oops. Oops, what am I doing? There we go. Now, something weird 
may or may not happen with this. I feel like when I get to this step in the model, sometimes it does what I want and sometimes it doesn't. Someone could uh, let me know what's going on with that. It would be really helpful. All right. So I'm going to hit E again. And we'll bring it up. And let's bring the final height up to 5.5. Enter. Oh, no, the final height up to 5.8. Enter. And let's see what it did this time. Ha <laughs> ha, it's hollow. Okay, so um, I'm going to do Control Z. Control Z. Control Z. And I'm going to do something a little weird because I seem it seemed to work. Last time, um, I do duplicate, duplicate. It's gonna make the whole thing, and then I'm gonna click anywhere, and then I'm gonna do Control Z, and now I'm gonna try extruding again. I don't know. This is the the voodoo that is my relationship to oops. 5.8. Let's see if that worked. Yeah, nope, not so much. Um, yeah, so this is where I'm going to try one more thing. See if it works. And then um, I will release the model that I did at once where it did work, where I do have a solid here instead of this flat top. But the, honestly, I have no <laughs> idea how I got that. Um, so, hmm. anyway, I'm going to try one more thing where I'm going to do, oops, it's like that vertice and this vertice and that vertice and that vertice and hit the F key and make a face. And then I'm going to do this vertice, that vertice, and that one, and that one. I wonder actually if I can do more of these at once. F. Nope. So I'm going to select all, and all. Oops. Everybody off again. So I guess my next process uh, to recover from this is to do just a right click, not the all crazy right click, and do each of these one by one and then hit the F key to make a face. And then that one, right click, right click, right click, right click, face. And that will go ahead as I, if I do it all the way around, will actually make me a your cup with all the faces in the right place. So, um, yeah, this was me doing the yogurt cup uh, self-irrigating planter in Blender. I hope this was at all helpful. I know I will need to watch it the next time <laughs> I try to do this. And, um, yeah, have a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.